Coming to you live from a bullet riddled pile of mannequins. <laughs> this is Optimal Play. I'm Brandon. And I'm Kyle. And this is part two of our 10 part playthrough of the Hostage Negotiator career. Hell yeah. I don't remember how it's been going. Would you remind us, Kyle? Well, we were top of our class. I remember that for women through the academy like it was nothing until at the final hour on the final exam, Professor saw our cheat sheet under and we got <laughs> expelled. <laughs> we got expelled? Yeah. Oh, but, that's dramatic. So we're rogue. We're not, <laughs> we're not even sanctioned at this point. <laughs> Private house negotiators. Yeah, yeah. We're hi hired by the like parents of the hospital. We're officers. <laughs> Yeah, uh, the last video, if you didn't catch it, was a training exercise gone horribly awry. Mm -hmm. And not just gone awry, but gone so great until it wasn't. <laughs> and, just... then, and then what we did was we, we left that, that pile of mannequins behind, we went home to our brother and his family, and we said, get the F out of my house. <laughs> That's a good segue into this stress event for year two, or it would be if I didn't jump in here to suggest that our viewers like and subscribe <laughs> to this video. If you, uh, if you enjoy, uh, idiots, <laughs> idiots, period, <laughs> like and subscribe. If you enjoy idiots full of hubris, <laughs> losing training exercises at the 11th hour, uh, or other playthroughs of the various games that we play and talk about on the channel, uh, the best way to support us is to like this video or subscribe to the channel, which uh, causes YouTube to recommend more people watch us fail miserably, and the cycle continues. I can't wait. I can't wait to find out the repercussions for kicking our family out. We got this regret stressor card. There it is. Uh, why don't you, even though it's just flavor on the back of this card, but would you share what that letter we're writing says? Because I'm curious. It says, did not intend for this way. Oh, because it's like cut yeah. off, yeah. Hopefully you know that I would never have done anything to hurt you intentionally. I don't have any excuses, and I accept full responsibility for my words and actions. I hope you can forgive me. I am so sorry. Signed. Me? Yeah. Brandon. Why did I have to write the letter? Because it was your family. <laughs> <laughs> oh, We may man. be partners and live together in the same house. <laughs> but that was your brother. I don't want to hear anything about it. <laughs> Alright, fine. Uh, Alright, well, because of our regret... Every hostage that has died, even though they were, even though they were mannequins. <laughs> Every hostage that has died, but no one, or no, sorry. <clears throat> Take two. Back this up. That's up. We'll cut that out. Yep. Every hostage that has died, but one in particular, weighs on you. Like nothing you have ever faced before in your life. You take a visit to the psych. Uh, the choices here. So this, just like the career and the personal cards, has two choices. They are release everything, the emotions, the tears, tell Dr. Roslin everything, or try to keep it together and get a solution from Dr. Roslin before you lose it. How do we, how, how do we handle therapy? I think, <laughs> That's what this question is. I think let's just bawl. Let's just cry. We never lost yeah. anyone. Take, take the aviators off, see the tears. See the tears. Down cheeks. Just, just. <laughs> Yeah. Alright, we're gonna release, uh, release the emotions. I agree, I agree. Okay. It feels good to get everything out and you feel better. That is, until Dr. Roslin tells you that she's requiring that you take a temporary paid leave. You like time off, but not when it is forced on you. A plus two career stress. So here where we were only at a two out of possible five, we're now up to four. Oof. Uh, we haven't covered at any point what that does. Oh. And to be honest, I don't know. <laughs> I know that uh, at times when it, uh, at times when it says to do it, what, that doesn't, that wasn't a good that sentence. That wasn't a sentence uh, at when, all. When the game calls for a stress check, hmm. you roll a die and you want to roll equal to or above your current stress level, otherwise you fail that check. Gotcha. What happens there, I don't know, I've never seen one. Great. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but it's bad for stress to be high. Makes sense. Yeah. In, in most circumstances, that's true. Right, yeah. Uh, on the other side of this card, it just says, uh, proceed to this year's career event. Great. Okay, so that one is done. Okay, year two. Year two. What Looks do we got? Looks like we are outside the police department. 
Okay. All right, year two says, you finish uh, you finish advanced training with one of the best negotiator instructors, instructors in the world, a woman known as the matriarch. Whoa. You feel like you can take on the world after learning from her. And then you get the, your chance. A call comes in. Uh, so you can either, on the way to the scene, call the matriarch and ask for her advice, or don't call. She will. She won't always be available. So you're going to have to figure things out for yourself. Hmm. Mm. So do we do we rely on this crutch or do we? <laughs> I think we're ready. <laughs> <laughs> Hubris has never failed us before. <laughs> Um, I feel like... Uh, what did it say she the, was again? She's... She's a great instructor. Okay. So I feel like... You feel like you can take on the world after You feel like you can take her. on the world after okay. learning from her. Yeah. So, like, we don't need her. I mean, this basically tells us the answer for us. Don't call her. Don't we're, call her. Good. Yeah. I yeah. think it does. Okay. I think it's don't rely on the crutch. You have the strength within. You grapple with the decision to call or not, but ultimately decide this is something you have to handle on your own. You'll always remember her teachings, and it isn't like you can, can't call her in the future if necessary. If you own the Matriarch Negotiator card, you may take it, but may only use it once in a later negotiation. Um, so the there are Negotiator cards that uh, come in some of the packs and stuff. I don't think I own very many of them. There were a couple in like the some of the. I'll have to. I didn't really realize that the campaign would use those. So. Well, now we don't have the option. No, I'll check. I'll check after the video. Uh, the, this this says you can use it in a later negotiation, year three plus. So it's not supposed to be an option. This one. Um, okay. So oh, in case Brandon comes into a new uh, pack, we'll know why. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, hell, if uh, if if this is our last one that we're filming now, and we have some time before we sit down to continue this campaign, maybe I'll go out and make sure I, we buy the matriarch. <laughs> uh, there's one more thing though. What? Gain a trait. Resolve. So we have, over here off camera, there's all these fancy trait cards. Like, the top of this deck is trait divorced. Mm. <laughs> uh, but we gain, so let's see, there's defiant, corrupt, respected, restraint, loyal, stability, and resolve. So what do we get? An ongoing effect. Resolve any failed stress or merit check one time. If it succeeds, discard this card. Oh, so the, so the checks to see whether we're promoted based on our merit or whether we have a meltdown based on our stress. We get what we uh, re-roll if we fail, and then the first time that that re-roll uh, leads to a success instead of a failure, this card is spent. Okay, cool. Oh, it's weird. The, this is, the, the, the layout of these cards is weird to me. It's like there's a, line, a, a bold line here and then flavor text. Even though in general, to me it's more intuitive to read the flavor text first. Yeah. But anyway... You don't know the meaning of quit, and you aren't aiming to learn anytime soon. I like it. Okay, so we put this up in our traits, and we've got that available. Should it matter? Here we go. Crisis. Either way, you are ready, because you have to be. Draw a campaign abductor. Okay, so it's just going to be a basic game of hostage negotiator, but without the hostage, uh, hostage kills don't count. <laughs> so, so they count. <laughs> sounds like we should probably uh, not lose very many. Sounds good. What do we got? We have the Seavers. The Seavers. These are the brothers? Uh, yes, I think. Man, it's, uh, it's I, don't, I don't remember. But uh, we will set up our game negotiating against the Seavers, and we'll be right back. Sounds good. See you then. All right, we're all set up. Uh, we're going to be trudging through the swamp. Sure are. For our first real <laughs> negotiation. <laughs> Gotta love it. Uh, Want to read uh, the story on the back of Clyde? Sure. What's going on? I'll tell you. Clyde Seaver lost custody of his two children when his wife Sandra divorced him six months ago. Last month, while the children were visiting him during the weekend, he vanished with them. Today, he was spotted at a convenience store where he's now holed up, threatening to kill himself rather than go to jail. Worse, there's no sign of the children. Could Clyde's older sister, Tina, be hiding with uh, hiding them on her land in Becker's Swamp? Mm. Then Tina. Tina Seaver is Clyde's older sister, a survivalist and recluse who calls the wilds of Becker Swamp her home. When her little brother showed up on her doorstep with her niece and nephew in tow, Tina was understandably concerned, but the Seavers have always stood together through thick and thin. Clyde's been off on a supply run for a very long time, however. Now Tina's starting to think it might be time to take the children and disappear. 
All right, so we've got just two hostages this game. The Seaver boy and the Seaver girl. I guess uh, they don't have names. We don't care. We don't care. Boy and girl. Uh, so they never give them names because then you get attached. Right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so they're out uh, hiding or playing or they're in the swamp for some reason. They're swamping. Yeah, they're swamping. Doing swamp things. <laughs> And we, when we would rescue a hostage, and there's no hostages to rescue, we instead search one of these eight swamp spaces. Indeed. And two of them have these hostages on them, which adds them to the regular hostage pool. Others do other things, or just are blank. Uh, we can cross those bridges when we come to them. Uh, so we just have to find these hostages, save them, and then get both abductors out. We do have to... Kill, kill, or uh, yeah, eliminate or capture them both. Uh, seems easy. I agree. Yeah, we got some special cards to help. Uh, there, there is, a, there is a little rule that uh, might matter. <laughs> that if <laughs> if uh, the abductors would kill a hostage, instead they kill them. Uh, Clyde, Clyde kills himself, and Tina flees with the children. Yep. Uh, so we need to make sure that they never kill a hostage. Luckily, the special cards. Uh, one of them has the ability, and it's a zero-cost card, play it to prevent one hostage death. So we need to have that at hand for those moments to prevent it. Otherwise, otherwise we, we lose outright. You can lose at any moment. I have a question. Kyle, yes. Are there minor or escape or major or escape demands in this one? Oh, we didn't put any on the table, did we? Nope. Hmm. Uh, you would think that there would be. Let's would think. see. Let's, what does it say here? Oh, it's just an escape demand. Okay, so, okay, I, I didn't misplace anything. There are no Seaver demands. We just need an escape. Where do they go? Aha, here's the escapes. I was totally prepared. This is intentional. Killing it. Choose, our, choose the escape demand. It's clearly this one. Okay. Um, but since you're so prepared, why don't you have the megaphone first? Oh, good. This is it. We have to go? Yeah. Training wheels are off? Training wheels are off. We, we are in the swamp. We didn't even call the matriarch? No. <laughs> we have all that we need. Fuck. <laughs> okay. Well, I just want to know how they plan to escape. Or how they want to escape. So I'm going to demand their demands. With <laughs> What are your demands? I mean, don't you think it's a little obvious? It's clearly an airboat. They're in a swamp. They're gonna. They're I mean, they're gonna want to. There is them. only one way that you escape from a swamp in a movie. Yeah. Luckily, this is real life. Luckily. Could be anything. I want a sick airboat. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, we only have two dice now. Yeah. I hate this for us. Yeah. Well. Okay. Well, here they go. Uh, a convertible success. So, it, which uh, would convert us from a failure, which is plus one threat to. Revealing a demand. That feels that good. Feels that feels good. Like the right call. So uh, this is the only demand, so I'm gonna spend the other what are your demands. Nice. And I guess a small talk on this? Yeah. Hurts a little bit. It does. Uh, but we'll convert that to excess and to a success and reveal that their demand is a bus. You didn't see that card, did you? <laughs> that is totally gonna get stuck in the swamp, but yeah. you know it's what they want. <laughs> you know what? Uh, fine. So we can concede, spend four points to concede this during any conversation to rescue a hostage and get a die on our next threat roll. And then, the, seem good. And then the penalty is just that they escape at the end of the conversation. Yeah, whatever. whatever. Yeah. I mean, that's not, when there's two hostages in the game, that feels like pretty good. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Um, okay, I guess we'll try to keep them cool. Okay. Yeah, I can tell they're getting anxious. They're always getting anxious. For whatever what's, reason. What's with abductors and anxiousness? Uh, oh, I'm pretty anxious. Well, that's minus one conversation point, and I think I will just uh, call yeah. that call that a conversation. So here you go. And uh, what would you like to buy with your negative one? I guess nothing. Yeah, that is probably it. Okay. Okay, then ready for your terror? Terrorize me. Don't even think about it. Ugh. Choose a conversation card in the available area with cost 5 or greater and remove it from the game. This happened to us last time, too. Sure did. Um, feels like this time it's all units. You don't think we're going to need four hostage rescues? I don't think so. I guess the funny thing is with that card you could just search half the swamp out, right? <laughs> Which is kind of <laughs> cool. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm with you. Okay. okay, remove that. 
from the game. That's fine. All right, conversate. I shall converse. I'm going to say, let's keep cool. Stop being so anxious. Yep. Uh, whoa, you're better at that. Wow, I'm so good. Yeah, okay, they are much less anxious. Minus one threat, plus one conversation point. Great. And then I'm just gonna finish it off with talking about my boys. Specifically, the middle theater child. Oh, I think I like the theater child. They, they consider liking it, but Don't no. like him. So uh, just plus one. Okay, and, and, and that's conversation. conversation. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. We're fine with this. Have this. Thanks. Oh yeah, it's it's the get her out of here. Yeah. So so this card that's uh, in our hand because it's zero cost just says get her out of here. Play any time to prevent a hostage kill. Then you must remove this card or another sand receiver conversation card from the game. And there were three of those. Speaking of which, I have two points to spend. So what are they? Uh, well, I would recommend you the two point options, which mm -hmm. are either minus one threat, plus two conversation, or plus two if on a single, but probably this one, Clyde, beg, please, I beg you, which is revealing tokens, mm. or revealing swamp tokens. That's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Ignore the effects of Tina is spooked also, which, and that's, that raises threat. Yeah. Uh, but also, we're not quite at three dice, so we could consider... Doing like we can work this out for one, which I is kind of, a I kind, lot of. I kind of like the threat reduction one and and a reroll with these two. Yeah, so I like that. I think I'll take that. I'll take a we can work this out. And what I meant was, Just don't fail on we can work this out. Why? What happens? It gets removed from the game. Oh, and and a threat increase. Yeah. Well, that's what that's that's why I, I can change what I meant. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah it'll be what I meant was we can probably work this out. <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, okay. Terrorize me. I would love to. Uh, these two go back here. Mm -hmm. uh, help from the locals. Oh. Reveal a thing and ignore the Tina as a spoot effect. That's oh, great. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, locals. I'm feeling like the Seaver girl is going to be down here by the uh, witness sighting X. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, there's something on this. It is. I can't read that. Nothing here. Oh. oh. All right. Well, I guess there was nothing there. Hmm. It's too bad. Well, why did why did we think we cited a witness there, or the witness cited something? No, this was it was over here clearly. Ah, oh. you just messed up. Fair enough. Okay. All right. Well, one searched. We made progress. You did. All uh, right. We totally earned it. We didn't just randomly get that from the tarot deck or anything. No, 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 no. Okay. Well, I would love three dice. Make uh, it happen. Yeah, I think I will do uh, keep cool to start and see if we can get there without risking losing this card. Okay, so, that's good. Let's keep them cool. Rolling two dice. Nice. Here we go. Uh, that'll wow. do. Yeah. You sure did. On um, keep cool, that's minus one threat, plus one conversation point. So yeah. that's up to one. Uh, I feel great about that. That was a great roll. Let's throw another die in the tray because I'm, I, I, I deserve it. You earned it. Yeah. Uh, then I think we can probably work this out. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, we have cards to spend and uh, reroll. Yeah, and we've got two. What are your demands if we need to convert a success? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm, in, I'm feeling good here. So okay. So this is, this is that special Seaver card. We can work this out. There's no need to do anything crazy. Slide, slide, slide. Is that a typo? <laughs> no, I just it was, it was a speako. Oh, <laughs> damn those speakos. <laughs> <laughs> There's no need to do anything crazy, Clyde. Let's just calm down and think things through. Clyde. <laughs> I don't know if that was I need a sip of beer. I don't know if that, that was Clyde and Seaver or what what happened there. Or but maybe That would obviously be Cleaver, which would be cool. Yeah. And not slide. So you're just thinking about playgrounds, obviously. You're like, man, I remember when I was a Seaver kid and I used to go down the slide. Yeah, in the swamp. In the swamp. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh, I, these, okay, you know what, these aviators are starting to wear out their welcome. I, I would like to be able to see clearly. Um, I can see clearly now, the aviators have gone. <laughs> Let's roll. All the successes. Ooh, hey, nice. that's, that's all the successes. Ow. Wow, so that's minus two threat, which is minus one, and then it's at S, so the second one, quote unquote, rescues a hostage. So you think it was it was here where the witness yeah. decided. Okay. okay. Uh, Tina is spooked, plus one threat. Hmm. Well, so seems like I was wrong. That witness is unreliable. One, one could ar yeah. one could argue that you were wrong. <laughs> yes, uh, but I do agree that that witness sucks. <laughs> yeah, it sucks. <laughs> so, let's see. Is there anything else I want to do here? Yeah, I guess I'll, I'll end on some small talk. Sure. 
All right, I'm going to tell them about my middle boy. Mm, what's your middle boy? My middle boy went off to England to become a soccer coach, but oh. doesn't understand the game, mm. and is getting into all sorts of lovable hijinks over there. Is his name Led Tasso? <laughs> Led Tasso, yeah, yeah, how did you know? I just have a feeling for these things. <laughs> Alright, let's tell them about him. Oh, they're just as charmed as I am! <laughs> uh, that's, that's gonna be plus two conversation points. And... I really am only deciding whether to sell any cards. Do you want more than three? I could sell some What Are Your Demands. Three feels good, actually. Okay. Okay, then I'll pass you the megaphone. Okay. What do you want to buy? I would love a Clyde, please, I beg you, and a what I meant was. Good choices. I think so. All right, then. Uh, Terrorize me. Terror's coming your way. Oh, they're mad as hell. Ugh. Plus God, two threats. That's brutal. Yep. It's not what you like here. Especially no. Especially because I don't have a lot of threat reduction in hand. All right, your All turn. Right. I will start by keeping them cool. All right. I keep them Whoa. so cool. Okay. I feel like the dice have been kind of hot, yeah. which worries me because that happened last game. Yep. <laughs> and then they were hot, and then they, they were, were cold. So so cold. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right, but that's a that's a minus threat and a conversation point, so. Yeah. We're good. What's um so you took one of the Seaver cards, right? What does that what does it do? It's a one that can reveal tiles, but I think we want to save oh. it for three dice. So I'm just gonna okay. end with some small talk. Alright. Did my job. Reduce threat by one. Uh one success will be two. Yeah. Alright. Three points. Do you wanna sell any for four or better? Let's see, what do we got? We yeah, already have the rerolls here, so I think definitely selling for like one of your demands would be good if we want to get like a couple twos. Um, yeah, we're at three. Yeah, why don't I, um... Hmm. You know, three's actually pretty good here, too, because I think I want to just go for threat reduction, and if it's so much threat reduction that it explores some of the swamp, so be it. Yeah. So I kind of want just a, a just take a breath, and we can work this out. Okay. They both can reduce threats, and... That was the end of the sentence. I don't know why I ended it with and. Perfect. Wow, so many cards in hand. Uh, ten. We're at the hand size limit. That, wow. doesn't, that doesn't happen very often. Nope. Uh, you gotta terrorize me, though. Oh, I will. Mm-hmm. We're terrorizing you with, I want to play a game. Roll a die and compare the result to the current threat level. You know, if you want to put on your real glasses, you can. <laughs> no, it looks so good. <laughs> it's making me sad watching you have to, like... I don't know. Do the old man holding it up to your to be three inches from your what? face. Why did he want? He wants to play a game. So uh, roll a die. I was too busy. I was too busy laughing at you reading the card to actually process what the card said. So <laughs> you need to roll a die, and you want a one or better, ideally. A one or better. Okay. Yeah. All right. You know it threats at two, right? Yes, yeah, so one or lower, rather. Oh, one or lower. Oh, oh, damn. Okay. Uh, how's a three? A three is not good enough. No. We kill someone, so oh I hope you boy. have a card to prevent that. I sure do. It is... Get her out of here. This isn't working. Ma'am, you're just making the situation more volatile. I need you to withdraw now for everyone's sake. So, uh, I think that the ma'am there is the uh, sand receiver, whose mm. conversation cards we've been using. Uh, so we gotta get her out go, of here. Does this go back into the play area now? Um, when, does, when does that happen? Uh, no, actually, this, or this should be in the play area. It's not available to rebuy, so we need to be, be careful uh, on my turn here. Right. So, so we have to... Uh, anyway, yeah, what this says, sorry. Uh, play at any time, prevent one death. Then you must remove this card or another Sand Receiver conversation card from the game. It could be from my hand. I think it's this one. Remember when we... Oh yeah, let's just generate some conversation points. Remember that trip to the Bahamas we went on? We were all so happy then. What happened to us, Clyde? Yeah. Yeah. All right. We don't remember that. We don't remember that. And then the conversation actually begins. I just have to not... I'm not holding any cards that can accidentally cause a death, right? Uh, no. No. Just take a breath can if threat is at K, but... We're good there. We're, we're good, so... All right, so no risk of... <laughs> no risk of losing the game outright here during this conversation. And as, as, as such, I will 
Keep them cool. Very good. Rolling two dice. We'll take one success. That's minus a threat, and now we're up to the three dice range. Very nice. Yeah. Uh, I also feel nice about that. Mm-hmm. Okay, well then let's, uh, let's just take a breath. All right. Take it. Whoa, 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 slow down. Take a deep breath. Deep breaths. <gasps> <laughs> All right, if we get a double success here, it's minus one threat and three conversation points. That'd be nice. Sure would. We didn't get it. Ooh. We got one convertible success, or I could use a reroll. Uh, I think this is definitely worth converting. I've got two um, what are your demands, right? Yeah, yeah so I'm gonna, I'm gonna spend those to convert this, and it'll just be minus one threat. I'm okay with that. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Then... Start digging through the swamp. Yeah, um, we can... We can work this out. Uh, this is the one that can potentially have minus two threat, but if we fail, it's removed from the game, so we won't. The plan is to not fail. I like that. Yeah. I like that plan. All right. Didn't fail. Good. Didn't fail. Just got the minus one threat, so that's going to explore some swamp, though. All right. Let's see it. Where do we feel? There's not that many labeled like an points abandoned on camp. It. Yeah, there is an abandoned camp. It's where where is the no. oh it's, it's this one because that's yeah. where the X is. So all right, all right, let's check the abandoned camp. Tina is spooked. <laughs> we did it again. Damn, this one is not going as well the first time we played it. I think we like you know? found the two children on the first two out of yeah, three. Yeah, we did. Tiles. We did win this one other time yeah. we played this, right? Yeah. Um, okay. okay, this Good is fine. Night. Yeah. So. so. I'm still in three dice range. Yeah, and since I am, uh, well, so now do I want to? Yeah, I think I, I think I still do this. The camp one. Yeah, Clyde, yeah, please, good. I beg you. This would have been the better one to find that Tina's food because it ignores it. But uh, I mean, that is what I was recommending. But yeah, it's fine. Yeah, the problem is this: uh, if I fail, it raises threat. But yeah. you just so won't. be it. Yeah, just won't. Um, just tell me where the, just tell me where the kids are and we can get past this. What you're doing isn't fair to them. And they, yeah, they bought into that. Uh, okay, so that's one success, which would could reveal convert. one. Could convert this, but I'm down to a small talk and two rerolls, and I like those cards. Yeah. So, I think I'm gonna not convert it. I like it. Right? Yeah. I wish we knew, and we didn't check before we set this up, how many Tina is spooked during there. Like, how valuable I is it to maximize this? Two. Okay. But I'm not positive. Because if there are only two, then we have there's to. no pressure to like take advantage of this situation where we can ignore them. Yeah. So, all right. I guess I'll save the cards and just search one. Let's go here. Yay. It's the Seaver Girl. All right. So let's move her into the hostage pool. She can be properly rescued now. Hell we yeah. found her. Um. There's a what the. There's another card that's in the wrong sleeve. This happened last game, and I fixed it. I think I fixed it. Didn't I fix it? Anyway, I'm fixing it now. This cannot stand. I mean, it would make sense that both of those, like, guy cards would be in the wrong sleeve. Oh, because they were the ones that came from the other yeah. set. Yeah, fair enough. Um, okay. I'm gonna pass you the megaphone, I guess. How would you like to spend your zero conversation points? Uh, just buying all the zeros. Okay. So this is scary because you did not get back the death prevention one. Well, I couldn't. No. You played it this turn. Yeah. I, I, didn't, I didn't have a choice. It came from the terror effect. So yeah. it's not like we did anything wrong. It's well, just that we... We still have that terror effect. Then. Yep. Um, yeah, wait, which one is that? That's this one. And then we have these other zeros. Okay. Okay. You'll never see it coming. Take a random gold pivotal event terror card from those out of play and place it face down on top of the terror deck. Okay. Uh, so I've got to I've got to refer to the little rules cards for a second here because um, the Seavers had their own in in their kind of set of cards had their own three pivotal events and those are all that you use for the initial setup. Do mm -hmm. we use those here? No. You don't think so? No, I don't think so. I think you're probably right. Um, yeah, it just says use them in setup. Okay. So, I guess we're going to use the regular Pivotal Event cards. I think that's the right cool. Okay, well, this is going to be terrifying. 
Yeah, but we won't know until your turn, so I'm fine with that. Okay. Well, there we go. Hell yeah. All right. That was not so scary. You didn't terrorize me that bad. Uh, sure. Not scary at all. All right, it's my turn. Yeah, what you doing? I am gonna keep them cool. Still a three dice. Yeah. Uh, one success. It's fine. Yeah. Down to S. Okay, I like it. I'm gonna talk some small. I'm gonna talk about my eldest jock. <laughs> to be clear, a human who is a jock. What? <laughs> or not? I don't know. Uh, um, you rolled okay. Yeah. One success. That's two that's conversation fun. points. Um, and yeah, that's good. That's it. That's okay. Do. Okay. Well, with those two, I'll pick up all these zeros. And do I want to buy a special one? Probably. Yeah. Yeah. Keep keep searching the swamp. Yeah. Clyde, please, I beg you. Okay. Okay. Yeah, now I'll, we've got that pivotal card. I'll terrorize you. What with... is this? I just, oh, sorry, I just need to get out of here. For the remainder of the game, only escape ma demands may be conceded. That's fine. Oh, that works out great. That's the only demand well, in the game is an escape demand. Yeah, but I'm going to leave that out here because... Oh, if there are minor demands. If there are minor demands. Yeah. Okay. That's funny because that's a pivotal event meeting that's designed to be the, the last... Yeah. Uh, the last card of the whole game, not to happen in the middle of the game and affect six turns. <laughs> okay, sure. Uh, well then. We're already at the best threat. Let's just... Well, I guess I don't, probably won't go straight to searching the swamp with Clyde, please, I beg you, because I... That can end the conversation. What can we do that wouldn't end the conversation? Maybe like a keep cool? Yeah. This would rescue the Seaver girl here. This wouldn't touch sure the would. swamp, right? Yeah. yeah. So let's do it. Let's keep them cool. Wow. Yeah, they're real cool. Uh, that We didn't reset that, so we're up to one conversation point, and we'll rescue Seaver girl. We did it. We're halfway there. Living on a prayer. Whoa. <laughs> um, all right. All right, yeah, now, now, now let's, uh, let's let Sandra do some begging. <laughs> Clyde, please, I beg you. Let her do some begging. Here we go. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's going to reveal two sections of the swamp, ignoring right, Tina and Spoon. It's a 50% chance that mm -hmm. we find the boy here. We've got... What does this say? Nothing here. Okay. Oh, yeah, so none of them are blank. They say nothing here. Yeah. And this one, also nothing here. Fucked up. I did fuck up. Um, but I have good news for you. Yeah? Hang on, I'm trying to think of it. <laughs> the good news is there was no bad news there? Yeah. 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 It was all upside, sort of. Um. Although if there is a second one, it would have been nice to hit, the, or a third one, it would have been nice to hit that. Yeah. So I could play Just Take a Breath, which can do minus one threat and could, uh, mm. keep searching the swamp. I like that. I guess, yeah. Versus, uh, you'll have a keep cool. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we'll just take a breath. Here goes nothing. Oh. That was nothing. That was nothing. It's minus two conversation points. This is probably worth a re-roll. Sure. What I meant was. What no, did you mean? I didn't mean that. What I meant to say was I completely understand where you're coming from, so tell me how I can help you. I'm gonna re-roll one single die. And get a success. Hey, nice. Yes. Okay. That's so huge. instead of minus two threat, it's, or instead of minus two conversation, it's minus one threat. That's quite a bit of a better minus. Yeah. Uh, we're down to two options. Don't fuck it up. I'm gonna. I don't think that they would. I don't think they would hide the children in like this closest corner. It's gotta be out here. Nothing here. Well, <laughs> I lost the mind game against the Seavers. <laughs> you did. <laughs> Princess Bride it over here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, with that, uh, I mean, do you think I should small talk? How many? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. I, I won't end it just yet. Then we'll we'll make some small talk. So I uh, can earn some conversation points here with another three die roll. Hell yeah! Wow. 
Wow. Three successes. Yeah, I was talking about all three of my boys. <laughs> One success per boy. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, that's three conversation points. Um, how do you feel about four? I could always sell a what are your demands, but they're also nice to convert successes with. Yeah, let's leave them. Okay, go ahead and spend the four then. All right, I think the correct play here is this card? What is that? This card doesn't work well on video. Is, uh, <laughs> we can work this out. The okay. Sandra card. Mm -hmm. How many cards do I have now? Five, pick up a zero, zero at seven. So you're yep. fine on hand size. Okay. And, then and what did that cost? One. one. Okay. Yeah. So I can get either hostage escort. Yeah, that's what I was going to get. Okay. So I like it. Potentially when I was the game here. Potentially. Oh boy, these were a lot of two costers I spent. Okay. You just get a regular ass red terror card. Yeah, what is it? I've got a bad feeling about this. Do you? Just plus one threat. Okay. And there would be another plus one threat if we had any unrevealed demands, but we uh, took care of that a while ago. Okay, you have any idea where that Seaver boy might be hiding, Kyle? No clue. <laughs> well, figure it out. All right, I think I'm gonna start with, we can work this out. Lots of recourse. Wow. Okay. In yeah. My hand. Yeah. To manipulate the dice. No need to do anything crazy, Clyde. Also known as slide. Slide. Wow. That was a great roll. That's minus two threat. Which I is found get the boy to and find the boy. Wow. Okay. I guess we. I guess they're just hostages now. We can get rid of that rules card. All right. Okay. Can you save the boy? I do my best. Keep him cool. Okay. Uh, I you did. did it! The boy is saved. Alright, now we just need to eliminate both abductors. Good, good news for a career. Uh, no host no, no, no death. No, no deaths. Still gonna be at 35 lives. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, because I want to go down on a flashy ending here, I'm gonna go for hostage escort. Oh, you're just gonna try to win? I'm gonna try to win right here, right now. Alright, yeah, two successes here rescues two hostages, which will which will capture both, both. abductors in this case. Alright, here they go. One, One success. Are you going for the reroll? <sighs> it's so tempting. Rescuing one's pretty good though. But plus one threat. Uh, it would be plus one threat. That's true. Whatever you think. You got the megaphone. I do have the megaphone. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna go for it. All right. Spending. Uh, what I meant was. So what I meant was. Please give yourself over to me. <laughs> and then. Oh, convertible. Say that'll yes. Win. That will do it. Both. Of them will go into the saved pool, I guess. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> we did it! Careered! <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me put my aviators on. One more high five for the for the video thumbnail. You know, I just yeah. had to have the glasses on. All right, ready? <laughs> Woo! Yeah! <laughs> uh, you know the thumbnails don't move, right? I can't use both of those. And I'm not gonna do the one where, with me awkwardly watching as you flex. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Maybe we'll use that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. We did it. We won a game. We finally won a game. And it's it's funny. We had won this first try before, but we came into this one being like, there's no way it's actually that easy, or it's going to go way less smoothly. And it went and, smoothly. And it, yeah. But it went less smoothly. Like, again, we didn't... We searched the entire... We had went freaking every acre of that swamp was searched very thoroughly before we found the last That's child. true. Yeah, we did not luck out and find them first thing or no. anything. Yeah, we also uh, suffered from the Tina is spooked both, both times. times yeah. yeah. I think this this one just might not be tuned to be all that difficult. There's not a lot of like threading. And it's part of our intro, you know, our first chapters of our career. That makes right? sense. Yeah. yeah. So. Uh, and I mean, I guess the, the the underrated part of the difficulty here is that because of the rule where they uh, that where Clyde shoots himself if he if you can't prevent that kill symbol like the game could end any time it could end very yeah. early you could just lose out of and you're never gonna nowhere. lose any yeah. hostages either yeah because they don't kill the children they escape with them oh true oh so this is yeah this is a good early career one because you're yeah. not you're not wasting your thirty five lives uh, okay nice love that for us uh, all that's left is the personal event step are you ready so ready I hope it's not the return of my brother <laughs> your brother comes back. 
the stress of your career is catching up to you. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take the aviators off when we're not negotiating. I think that's the the way mm, to that's the play. To play okay. it, yeah. I'll I'll wait then. <clears throat> oh, we're back to regular life. No longer a negotiator. Wow, it's so bright in here. Well, now, <laughs> now that you're back to regular life, the stress of your career is catching up no. to you. <laughs> Things are not going well at home. Your car is acting up, and the bills are piling up. Uh, okay. The choices are fairly vague, or at least the first choice is pretty vague. The first choice is deal with the stress now. Or the second choice is pretend the stress isn't there. <laughs> I kind of love pretend the stress isn't there. That is what I would do. I would just power through it. Mm -hmm. I feel like we should... Yeah, we're doing this right. You procrastinate. Yeah, we procrastinate. That's, come on, that's how you live. Who All does right. things... We procrastinate. Who does things when they should be done? Not us. Here's your uh, decoder. <laughs> My decoder. <laughs> Sponsored by Kellogg's. <laughs> Alright, ignoring the stress is a dangerous game. But you just don't have time to deal with it. No. Unfortunately, your mind is outpouring your body. Is outpouring your body? That's not a sentence. Pacing. Outpacing. <laughs> okay. It's very small text. <laughs> I'm my aviator. It's not anymore. And, I can't read. And you're reading through this little, weird little red window. Like, <laughs> all right. Uh, uh, plus as, one. As, as someone who read Clyde a slide a minute ago, I can't point fingers. Fair. Uh, plus one what? CS. Okay, so cool. Our career stress is just maxed out at five now. That's that's good. Oh, and if your CS is five, also gain one PS. Cool, 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 cool. So personal stress is up to two. Great. That's, that's all. That's it. That's it. Okay. Then uh, what's the negotiation results? Negotiation impacts is mark your career sheet with the results of the negotiation. Uh huh. If one occurred this year. Then apply the following effects below. Successful negotiation. If you are ranked sergeant or above. Nope. nope. <laughs> Gain one advanced skill. Otherwise, plus one merit. What? Plus one merit. No, no, no. Back it up. I'm just curious. What would happen if we were a sergeant? We would have gained one advanced skill. That is nonsense. <laughs> Which is fun. That means that you're there. there are some envelopes to open and things. That's a reference to some to a mechanic that we have not met yet, which is always a fun thing about a campaign and legacy style games. I like it. Okay, so we, we're getting one merit. You said? Yep. Okay, we're up to two merit. Is that it? Merit work. That's yeah. it. We just just a merit. Yeah, just a merit. How are we gonna get promoted at this rate? Man. Okay. Uh, so we uh, as to finish marking our sheet here. We uh, captured the Seavers, we saved two hostages, and we killed zero. Great. Perfect. That yeah. Was, that was we're, ideal. We're 15 and 0. <laughs> 15 and 0. <laughs> um, okay, that's it. I just wanted to remember, I don't think Tours actually going to be here at 6, so if we wanted to play one more, we probably could. Oh, we can talk about that after we do the outro to this video. Yeah. Yeah. Video. <laughs> Yeah, you see all you see all this. I don't know if you notice any of this, but there's lights, there's cameras, there's a microphone. I'm constantly under lights and cameras, Brandon. I don't even notice any. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> all right. Uh, that, yeah, that that's the, that marks the end of year two. Um, thanks for joining us. Uh, if you haven't smashed that like button, go ahead, and, it. go ahead and do it. Yeah. Uh, if you've already put pressed it, don't press it again. That unpresses it. Mm. Yeah. Just smash it harder. <laughs> I think that still would unpress it. We'll be back uh, for year three of our career. Wow, we have no stressors either. This is we're cruising. We're great. Yeah, that was just a few mannequins we died just, along we, the way. We but... ignored all of our problems and everything's great. Yeah, yeah. All right, no, no notes. I feel great about the decisions we're making here. Definitely. All right. Well, we'll be back to continue our charmed life soon. Till then, be optimal. <laughs>